right, welcome back to the Knives Fast channel, guys. It's time for another review. Now, the funny thing is here, we've got a knife. This is the Best Tech Nixie 3 from White Mountain Knives. And I was I had in my head that I had reviewed, by the way, this is designed by Todd Knife and Tool, that I had reviewed the original Nixie. But I just searched my channel, and it does not appear that I ever did. So uh, I, I actually am going to give myself a break for not knowing what the TKT was on there uh, during my unboxing. But anyway, so guys, uh, this is the Knives Fast channel. Like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Stick around. Check me on Instagram. Check out a live stream Monday nights at 745. This is a White Mountain Knives sticker, and that's because this knife came as a loaner from White Mountain Knives. I'm an affiliate over there, and our buddy Justin gives you guys 10% off with code Knives Fast on most products at checkout. All right, so uh, again, this is the Nixie 3, as you can see there, uh, and if you're into numbers, there you go, the BT2... BT-2308C, um, and guys, there it is, the Best Tech Nixie 3. Now, this is designed by the guys over at Todd Knife and Tool. You have marbled carbon fiber on this side. Uh, it is a flat-scaled model. Uh, it does have some chamfering, but it's, um, you know, not rounded in any way, um, if that makes any sense. You do have titanium on this side, no liner on this side, it's totally just the carbon fiber. This side is titanium with a lock bar insert. You have a frame lock. You have a really crazy schmazy uh, pocket clip here uh, with some really intense milling here. Your um, I, your uh, lock bar cutout is at an angle and it is like big, as you can see. Uh, your you know you got cuts there and there that match. Uh, really, really cool. You have a interesting backspacer. I think they had, if I remember correctly, on the uh, Roxy, uh, the Wii Roxy and the Roxy, anyway, all the Roxy versions. I think they had that same backspacer. So that must, must be their thing, if you will. Um, I, yeah, I know you guys probably know more about that than I do. I'm, I'm not super familiar with their stuff. Now you do have a titanium backspacer. I like kind of how they cut away, uh, the frame and the scale here to give you access to that. Um, they kind of doubled down, if you will, on the lanyard. Uh, very cool. The pocket clip is not reversible. So it's left, I mean, excuse me, right hand tip up only, um, Really nice look. I would not, um, yeah, I mean, the, the carbon fiber has some grip. The titanium definitely has a nice uh, feel to it. Very, very nice. Uh, your pocket clip, um, I will say, uh, your ramp is very steep on both sides of that pocket clip. Can you see that? Um, and so it's not so bad going into the pocket. Um, it's nice and stiff here. Not so bad going in, but coming out, it would catch on my pants every time and, and have a hard time. Uh, coming out again your results may vary and who knows it might have been catching on the the lock uh, the cutout here because that is very deep as well now this guy did come um, fairly centered it might be slightly off to the show side uh, but barely now before I open this guy's up this guy up I want to say uh, this is first of all a premium knife um, and it has one flaw that really kind of bugs me <laughs> um so let's get it open and as as we open it see if you guys knowing me uh kind of what that flaw might be now you do have a fuller and a hole uh for flicking i find the fuller very easy i find the full the hole very easy uh same thing you got the hole for thumb opening i can't really use the fuller to open well maybe i can't now no, uh, you do have a flipper uh, with some jimping, but it's kind of soft jimping, but no big deal because the detent is really tuned on this one. The detent, I'm not leaving the blade open long enough for you to see what the problem is. If you've got it, go ahead and tell me down in the comments what you think the issue is, and uh, I'll get there in just a moment. Now, now some people might not think it's a big deal, but I do. It bothers me, okay? Um, now, a really cool look here. Now, there's a couple of things we're talking about. And we talked about this when I had the Roxy in. When you open the knife, um, and and I think it's it's really interesting. They give you this cutout so that when you are using the flipper and you come back like this, you've got kind of a cutout here, chamfers, 
Um, I'm not really sure why you need that because the way I've opened it, I just come straight back. Now, maybe you're one of these people that opens it more like a push button, but that doesn't, I mean, the detent's not good enough to do that, in my opinion. So it's really got to be a snatch. So I'm not sure really what this cutout is for. Um, maybe it's for people that grip the knife like this and your thumb kind of sits down in there. Maybe that's what it's for. If somebody can tell me what the purpose of that is, uh, I've seen it on a few knives, on theirs mostly. I'm just not sure. Now, uh, if you're back here, I can get three and a half fingers, guys. Not quite. Now, the, the original Nixie is bigger. I've never seen it. Um, so it seems like maybe that one would fit me better. It does taper down at the end, uh, especially here. So you kind of feel like this finger is sort of out here. Now, you do feel the clip, but it's definitely not a hot spot. And you have a finger choil here uh, where you can get in here. And now I am for fingers officially on this knife because you can get back here and you can stay off the corner of that edge. And there's a reason you can stay off the corner of the edge because there's not a corner of the edge. Um, so I don't know if they did that to protect you from coming down on the corner of the edge when you're in this small choil. Maybe that's what it is. And that is probably the reason for that. Uh, but, guys, as you can see, there is no sharpening choil. Uh, you don't have a 90-degree plunge. You have more like a 45. And uh, when you sharpen this the very first time, you are getting a smile. As a matter of fact, if you look at the edge right at that point where they factory sharpened it, there's a little bit of a smile there already. You do have a deep Hollow grind with a stonewash blade, and I love that a lot. Um, very nice, and it is a absolute dream cutter. Um, your steel is S35. Now, uh, there is no lock bar pass-through. Again, guys have a style, and this, this is their style. You have a chamfer on both sides, but again, for me to undo the lock bar, I have to dig the fat of my thumb in there. Whereas if I had a cutout, I would just take the edge of my thumb and pull through. Um, you know, I'm always going to uh, stand up here and ask for a cutout. Um, but this is already a very deep, thin well here. So I'm not sure they wanted to go a little bit higher here for a cutout. So I get it. I get it. I understand why people do things like that. Um, now, is it bad? No. That lock bar moves pretty easily. It is thin right there on that chamfer. So you definitely, after a few times of doing it, uh, you're going to have a little crease in your thumb, but it's not bad. Um, and uh, you can see there, we drop to the thumb, and we are nice and smooth shakedown there, if you will. Uh, you do have a lock bar insert, and there is no lock stick or anything like that. As far as centering, it's like I said, it might be, eh, you know what? See, I think it's the two-tone. I think it's centered. I think it's centered. You do have jimping right here, uh, but when you choke up, you're going to want to be up here, and you have kind of a crown spine, which is really nice feeling uh, for cutting. I like that a lot. Uh, when you're locked up, you're locked up solid. No lock, rock, or blade play. You're at about a 30 there on your lockup, and it is locked up like a bank vault. Now, where did I put my cardboard? Here we go. Um, guys, I'm, I, I'm incredibly impressed with the cutting prowess of this knife. Let's get a little bigger piece here. That one was getting too small. Um, there we go. But it is a fantastic cutter. Uh, it really, really is. I am impressed uh, with the cutting abilities of this knife. It's got that utility tip for getting down in there like so. Uh, very nice. Again, you can choke up like this and kind of pinch it. Uh, and you got that. So very, very, very nicely done in that regard. I like it a lot. All right. So um, here is your Ontario Wrap 2, which is going to be roughly the... Well, it's going to be longer. Fractionally longer. Uh, close to the same. And then your Rat 1 is going to be a lot larger as you can see there now what i do like is your blade to handle ratio on the on the nixie is really nice and again it's just got a really cool 
look to it very much. What do I do with my phone? There it is. All right, so there are these are available at White Mountain Knives as we speak for two hundred and twenty one dollars. Um, so yeah, bam, you can go get it. Seven point uh oh two inches, so it's just over seven inches. Uh, four point oh two closed. Uh, two point nine nine blade length with uh point one five zero uh thickness. Now it's a little thicker, but you have this high hollow ground so it doesn't matter uh it can it can be a little thicker and bring you down to that nice thin edge uh matter of fact you got to be thicker to be able to do a hollow like that that thin of a hollow s35 plain edge hollow ground um 3.42 inches designed by todd knife and tool and i'm looking down in here and yes sir this one's running it appears to be running on bearings Again, I wish people would put in their listings what they're running on. It doesn't say. Um, again, uh, not the easiest for me to disengage the lock. Um, but if I do it, you know, for, for this movement here, um, nice and controlled, I prefer closing it like that is what I'm trying to say. So there you go, guys. The Todd Knife and Tool Design. Uh, why am I doing that? Best Tech. Uh, throw the sticker in the floor. Oh, gosh. All right. Here we go. Uh, the Best Techniques C3 designed by Todd Knife and Tool, sent to me by White Mountain Knives. Guys, what do you think of this one down below? Again, I went a little longer because I had a little bit more to say. Uh, so let me know what you think. Like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Check it out over at White Mountain Knives and get 10% off with code Knives Fast. And thanks for watching. The Knives Fast Channel.